what's up YouTube? It's uh uh decided I'd finally come and tell y'all about my diagnosis stories, so that's what today will be about. Um my diagnosis was a weird one. Uh how I found out about how I got cancer. Uh it's a weird story. Very unconventional, I guess. Uh I guess we'll start with kind of two weeks before I got diagnosed. I was actually in va on vacation in Europe. Uh, my mom's English, so every year I go to England and I see my family there. And recently we would start going to uh, Europe, like Maine, Europe while we were on vacation already in England so that we could go, you know, somewhere else and, I don't know, just see cool stuff. And I was actually on vacation two weeks before my diagnosis. Uh, me and my dad had gone to uh, England to see family. And then we went to Krakow, Poland. And we went to the Czech Republic a few days after that. And we went to Prague. So, uh, yeah, every single day, probably averaged about five to eight miles walking. And I was fine. I was literally walking around with cancer, but I felt fine. I had no symptoms. I had nothing. Like, it was just, it was whatever. And... I worked out every day, you know, as well. I got my decent, my regular sleep in. I really had <laughs> nothing wrong with me. And by the time I got back to the US uh, and I was home, I had a week, this is a week before my diagnosis now, I got my wisdom teeth pulled like a week before and let's keep in mind like with my cancer AML leukemia uh it attacks the bone marrow and it that's where the blast cells kind of go out of control and then that's where the cancer really is and uh so my blood counts had been dropping while I was, you know, getting closer to the day I <laughs> was diagnosed. Um, basically, that happened, and I, they said, uh, oh, well, there was a little more bleeding than usual, but nothing was wrong. Like, the wisdom teeth thing went fine, and I walked out of there and went along with my week. Uh, now we're getting to the day that I actually got sick. Uh, it was a normal day. I was hanging out with my friend that day. Uh, I went home and ate dinner. And I was fine. And then uh, I was doing my routine, like, uh, go to the front room and watch The Office until I get tired. And then I would go up to my room and I would go to sleep. So I'm sitting there watching The Office, and my stomach starts to really, really hurt. And I'm like, you know, what, ow, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to go use the bathroom. So I go use the bathroom, and it's like, you know, it's like diarrhea or whatever. And, like, I'm sick and, <laughs> like, whatever. That just that happened, and I went back to the front room, and... Well, continue watching TV and like an hour later it hurts again and I'm like what the hell and so I go back to the bathroom and I, I, I'm sitting there and then I just go start throwing up and I threw up like all my dinner and all over the floor and I was sick so you know my mom you know she was like go lay in the front room uh, you, they, maybe a stomach bug or whatever. So an hour goes by and my stomach hurts again, except this time I got to throw up. And so I throw up again. 
And then another hour goes by, same stomach pain, and I throw up again. And that went on till about 12 in the morning. And uh, she was like, I want to take you to the ER, my mom. And I was like, no, 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 it's okay. I don't need to go to the ER right now. Well, every hour on the dot pretty much until four in the morning, I'd get the stomach pain and I would throw up. So I gave in and I was like, you can take me to the ER. So we go to the ER at four in the morning and they get me back there and they take your blood work and they're trying to figure out why I'm throwing up like they I'm and at this point I'm throwing up black so we don't know what's going on I'm throwing up black they took my blood work it took them like five minutes to stick the needle in my arm because I was so dehydrated and they come back 30 minutes later and they're like he has a high blast cell percentage. And we're like, what does that mean? Blah, blah, blah. My mom knew what blast cells were, actually. But uh, they basically said, you know, that's leukemia. And they were like, oh, but we can't say for sure, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it could be an infection or something. But, you know, when they tell you that, like, you know that it, it's about to get real. And I... I was so sick, I can honestly tell you at the time, like, when I found out those words that I might have leukemia, I just, I was so sick, I was like, you know, it almost makes sense. I didn't beat myself up about it, I didn't cry, I didn't, nothing, I was just like, damn, I might actually have cancer. And they spent the whole day trying to get me into MD Anderson, and they they ambulanced me around downtown from the from where I live. Uh, they transferred me downtown to Houston uh, by ambulance, and they got me in the med center, and then they got me into MD Anderson, and they basically were like, yeah, we need to figure out what's going on uh, with your stomach right now because you have possibly got leukemia. So the throwing up, actually had nothing to do with the leukemia that's not a symptom that's not anything uh basically i had they found out with scans that i had a a a perforated stomach ulcer and so right where my small intestine or the large intestine whichever intestine connects to the stomach because that just shows how dumb i am uh where they meet um that's where there was a, a perforation which so I had like a hole in my stomach basically and that was bleeding and that was causing the black stuff which was old blood that's what was causing me to throw up the black stuff and then I would use the bathroom and it would just be black that dark blood you know it just it was gross and so three days later they well yeah I was there for about two 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 days before they figured it out and they didn't actually know where the stomach perfor or where the ulceration was until they cut me open. So it was kind of an exploratory surgery and a fix at the same time. So uh, they basically just cut me up the middle and saw where the stomach was actually perforated, fixed it sewed me back up didn't sew me actually stapled me back up i had like 30 staples going up my stomach and they put me in the icu gonna pause that uh they put me in the icu and that was it three days later they hit me with chemo and i started my journey with a uh Huge surgery that was super dangerous because I could have bled out on the table at any time. I had no blood counts. They were all in the tank. So I could have bled out easily, uh, but it all worked. It was successful. Uh, Only thing is I've still got stomach pain to this day. Every day I'm on constant painkillers because my stomach hurts so, so bad. But honestly, that's my diagnosis story is uh, a stomach ulcer perforation saved my life.
pretty much because I wasn't showing symptoms. I probably would have just keeled over one day and I would have just, I could have died because I had no, no idea I had cancer. No one had any idea. So me getting sick with that stomach ulcer definitely saved my life. Uh, got me into the hospital at the right time and they hit it. They just hit the cancer and I've been fighting ever since. It's been over a year since that happened and I've just been fighting. I've done, you know, their chemo treatments. I've done their bone marrow transplant. I've done it all, but uh, yeah, still fighting, still got cancer, man. And I won't give up until it's gone. That's, that's just the attitude I've kept. Uh, yeah, and I've got this nasty little IV in because they ran out of lines because apparently three ones three lines in my chest isn't enough but yeah still just hanging out right now um just trying to get my infection under control uh but that's really it for right now i just thought i would make i would just uh make a video telling the story about how i even found out i had cancer um, but that's it so i'll talk to y'all later and keep y'all updated still on what's going on while I'm here. Uh, I'll be here probably about three weeks. Uh, if I'm lucky, I'll even get to go home before my next bone marrow transplant. But y'all get to see me go through the bone marrow transplant. And hopefully that's pretty interesting for y'all. Uh, <laughs> give y'all some content. Maybe y'all better understand cancer. And I, I hope I can make these videos into a positive thing uh, to educate y'all and stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. So peace.